Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do Nashville hot chicken. Now up in Nashville, folks line up down the block to get deep fried chicken dipped in this hot and spicy sauce. And I'm gonna put my Mississippi spin on it. I'm gonna fire up my Weber grill using the Vortex so I can get that skin good and crispy, mimic that deep fried style. Then I'm gonna to put together a spicy hot sauce that's gonna set your taste buds on fire. Let's get to cooking. So for this Nashville hot chicken, I'm using thighs today. I really like the thighs because they have a ton of juice on the inside when you cook them, and that dark meat is packed full of flavor. They're really great on the grill. You could use any cut you want. The first thing that we're gonna do is get all the moisture off the chicken. So I'm just taking some paper towel and putting the thigh in it and just kind of blotting it, just getting that moisture off. What this is gonna do is gonna make it get crispy, that high heat, it's gonna have a great texture to it. And you wanna do this to all the chicken. Next, we're gonna put the spice to them. And what I've done, I've taken some of my AP rub, that's that salt, pepper, and garlic. I've added some white pepper, I've added some cayenne pepper, added a little bit of spicy paprika, and then just a touch of chipotle pepper to kind of give it a little bit of a smokiness. We mixed all that up and I'm gonna really coat this chicken with it, that's gonna be that first layer of spicy seasoning. And you could marinate this chicken in a hot sauce, but it's hard for the skin to get crispy after you do that. So I really like the dry seasoning on it. We're gonna flip it over. Now we're gonna hit the skin side. Now I'm just tucking them all back in, making them look nice and pretty. Now we need a little fat on the outside of the skin. That's what's gonna help it get really crispy at those high heats on the Weber. So I'm just using a spray vegetable oil. If you wanted to use butter or any kind of other spray, you could. And you just wanna hit them just a little bit. That's gonna make that skin golden. It's gonna make it crispy. It's gonna have beautiful texture to it. Now I'm gonna fire up the Weber grill. I'm starting with the chimney of B&B charcoal briquettes. When they get good and hot, we're gonna dump those right into the vortex. Put your cooking grate in place and then close the lid. Make sure your vents are open on the top and bottom so we can get some good airflow. As soon as the grill gets hot, we're gonna be ready to cook. All right, the vortex is rolling here on the Weber. We're ready to get this chicken on the grill. And I'm just gonna start by just placing it around. You don't wanna place it directly over the vortex, we're just cooking out around it. And what the vortex does, it creates this cone of heat that comes up in the top of the Weber dome lid and the heat radiates down the side. And that's what makes it cook so well, so efficient and really, really hot. Just before closing the lid, this is where you can add a chunk of wood for some smoke flavor. I just laid a piece of cherry right on top of those hot coals and it's gonna burn and produce some smoke. I can already smell that wood starting to put off that awesome aroma. Let's get the lid closed here. We're looking for about 175 on these chicken thighs. We'll check them in about 15 minutes, see how we're doing. I'm expecting it to take 30, 40 minutes. It's not gonna be a very long cook. We're gonna put together that Nashville hot sauce to dunk this chicken in too. So while the thighs are grilling on the Weber, let's make this hot chicken sauce that we're gonna dunk them in here at the end. I'm starting with some hot sauce, some butter, some canola oil. We're gonna combine all that. Then we're gonna get the flavors really amped up. We're putting some more of the rub that we put on the chicken, but I'm also adding more cayenne pepper and some paprika for color. And then to balance it all out, I'm gonna put in just a couple tablespoons of brown sugar. It's really gonna make a dynamite sauce. And I wanna give it a try. I wanna see how it tastes. I know it's gonna be spicy, it's gonna be hot, and I just love this deep red color that it has. It just says Nashville hot chicken. I mean, check that out. Let's go ahead and get a little of it. See what we're working with. See how hot it is. Woo. Oh yeah. That's got some heat right there. That's gonna be great on the chicken. It's not burn you down heat, but it's coming. All right, we've been cooking this chicken for about 20 minutes. This is where I wanna take a look at it, see where it's at. Let's open the grill up. You can see it's got beautiful color. Love the way that skin's doing. Seasoning looks great on it. We peek at the internal temperature, see where we're at. About 142, we still have a ways to go. Oh yeah, about 140. But what I'm gonna do, we're gonna just turn these, kinda of give them a little even time towards the heat. Not flip them over, just turn them, because I want the skin to really crisp up. This high heat's gonna do it. Still got some cherry wood left. It's, it's starting to ignite once you leave that lid open. So you wanna work pretty quick. Let's get it closed back. Now I'm gonna set a timer, probably about 15 more minutes. And I'm gonna come back and check on them. Once we get to 175, these thighs are gonna be done. We're gonna be ready to dip them in that hot Nashville chicken sauce we just made. And we're gonna be ready to eat some. Y'all keep watching. So we're gonna start getting these chicken thighs up. 
they're all hit temp. I know these little ones really look good. I mean, check it. You can see how the skin crisped up on them. It is beautiful. Seasoning looks good. I mean, that would be fine to eat just like this. And that skin, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm trying to get close to the mic, but it has a crispness to it. And it's gonna be fantastic once we get it dipped in this Nashville hot chicken sauce. Let's go to the cutting board. So in Nashville, they serve this hot chicken on white bread with some pickles on top. Well, instead of that, I thought some biscuits would go really, really great with it. So I did the blue cheese biscuits. You can catch that recipe. But what I'm gonna do is just bust these biscuits open, kind of in a half. We're gonna do it open face style. We'll take two of them, just like this. Then we're gonna take our chicken, get one of these pieces right here. We're gonna dunk it in this Nashville hot sauce. Spicy, juicy, it's gonna have a kick to it. Oh man, that looks good. Set it right on top of that biscuits. Then we're gonna top it with a couple pickles, just like this. Maybe one more there. We'll prop the rest of that biscuit up on the back side. That's gonna be for sopping up all that good sauce on the plate. But that's what I call Nashville hot chicken. So you know I gotta get me one here. I'm gonna grab this one, it looks good. Dunk it in this sauce. Flip it around so it gets all those good flavors, all those bits of seasoning that's in there. I'm gonna set it right on top of this biscuit. Put me a couple little pickles on top, how about that? This is for the cook. I mean, it looks fantastic. I'm gonna cut in right here. Give me a piece with some of that skin on it. Gotta have the skin, gotta have the biscuit. We can get the pickle in a minute. Mm. That's Nashville hot chicken right there. Ooh, that biscuit's good. Get out of the way, pickle. Coming back in the other side. Gotta have all that spice from that hot sauce. Really spicy, but it's not blow your head off. I mean, I'm feeling it. Lips are tingling a little bit. You can make it as hot as you want it. If you want to put some more heat to it, use different kinds of peppers. A hotter version of a hot sauce would work great. This is plenty of heat for me. I'm starting to sweat a little more, but I like it. I'm gonna take these pickles to cool it down. I'm telling y'all, this is really a great chicken recipe. You gotta try it. These thighs are juicy. They're packed with so much flavor. They got that spicy kick, and the skin just has a perfect texture. Cooking it on the grill on that vortex at high heat really gets it crispy. Mm. The biscuit soaks up all that flavor, and you really get the taste of the hot sauce, of the cayenne, of that white pepper, all those seasonings that make that sauce really special. Man. I'm telling you, that's, that's out the park right there. Thanks for checking us out today at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll see y'all next time. That's winter, winter chicken dinners. I'm telling you, Hattie B's ain't got nothing on this. We have them lined up down the street out here, Shell.